And I'm going to go through two cases here. Uh, this is a 43-year-old female with a body mass index of 55 kilograms per meter squared. So she's weighing over 300 pounds. Uh, she came to the hospital for acute systolic heart failure, meaning uh, a, a sudden onset of heart failure with shortness of breath and, and liquid building up in the lung. It's called pulmonary edema. She had an implantable defibrillator placed. This is kind of a common thing that happens now. Um, and uh, there are medications being used for this, um, and she was being treated, discharged from the hospital with improvement, but still, you know, was overweight and had uh, symptoms of heart failure. So she learned that her father was doing a keto diet, and I have to just say that the word of mouth spread of this is common and extremely important. So she did some internet research and uh, started using a keto app and tested her urine ketones and was using a keto diet on her own. And she lost 15 pounds over 12 weeks, which is fantastic. So she initially lost weight, but hit a plateau uh, and then uh, came to see me at the keto clinic and her uh, ejection fraction, EF means ejection fraction, that's the amount of blood that's uh, squeezed out of the heart with every heartbeat. And she had severe heart failure with only a 20% ejection fraction. Uh, her, the keto diet was started under, under my supervision some months later, but she then lost weight after um, uh, you know, another 10 months or so down to a BMI of 33.5 or a weight of 180. And her ejection fraction went up to 50%, which means almost a normal squeezing heart. So this is serious heart failure, you know, life-threatening, needing hospitalization. Of course, it took time for this to happen. And of course, you're, you need to learn from someone who knows how to do this safely with a doctor who knows how to help you adjust medications. It's five foot two and still weighs uh, about 160 or 70 pounds. But she's tickled. She's thrilled. She has her own Instagram uh, channel now talking about this. The second case is a 62-year-old male with a similar story of having heart failure uh, and uh, he did not grow up heavy as a child. He, he got a uh, weight problem about the age of 48. The most he ever weighed was about 353. Um, he, he thought weight gain was a result of lack of exercise and eating. Um, never really heard of a low carb diet before. And he had never used medications or very low calorie diets. These are diets you can buy from the doctors. He never used weight loss surgery. He had been minimally active, and an important, an important point there is you don't have to exercise to lose weight. People come to me, and they, they have no energy most commonly, and this still will work for them. Um, and he was a police officer, retired for several years now. So on his ejection fraction, he had uh, a reduction down to, again, about a 20% and was increased now to about a 40% ejection fraction. And this just shows his uh, weight trajectory going down over time. Interesting to note that he was sent to the keto medicine clinic by a cardiologist so, you know, yes, heart doctors, cardiologists are open to the idea of using a keto diet. And you can see that his weight has come down over time. Um, he's still on medications there on the far right. And it's just an important reminder to do this with um, a physician or medical person who is comfortable using this kind of approach. annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. From the website doctorstotrust.com, you can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.